And here we go! A live commentary coming at you. We got quads today. We're looking at the scene right now. Hitman and Flyboy are already down. And look out! Incoming! Abel, Docane, and Rambo right now. There's some trouble. A helicopter coming right at him. I don't know what the helicopter's doing. Nearly took out Rambo. And Rambo nearly took him out with a C4. What in the world have we jumped into? RPG goes firing off. If that would have hit, I would have shit my pants. Me too, Frank! That's Greg the Grim Reaper, my co-host, as always. 66 people left in the game. Mario Lemieux, 23 teams. One kill for Rambo. I have no idea what we just witnessed. Yeah, what was that? The helicopter came in and could have easily chopped up it, uh, Rambo there. Abel, no, Kane got in the, uh, I think he got back in that little, uh, that little booth, that tool booth. Yeah, I think you're right. I think he was safe, but Rambo, even with the C4, I think a little bit of panic, a little bit of hesitation there, a little bit late thinking about it. Didn't come out. Could have had a nice little, I think, just one person in there, but Hitman and Flyboy down for the team already. Uh, Rambo with one kill. Abel No Kane has three, rocking the ground loot epic far and the Amax. Looks like he went with the ghost class, but he didn't have any ammo. Quad pulled up right above him. Remember, he's only got 50 rounds here. This is this is a four. This is a quads game. More than one here could be tricky with the with the. <laughs> Only 50 rounds in that bad boy. Will shoot off quickly. I'm not sure what Abel's doing right now. Sliding, slide canceling into a prone position as the loadout box is coming in. You gotta hustle up if you want to get over there. Oh, it looks like they're doing an extraction instead. How about this? And Rambo's just off in the middle of nowhere. Hitman has pinged something for them. Abel sees one. Gonna wait till he goes out. Stun grenade comes in. Will hit. Second stun grenade. Excessive. Will miss. And look at this. Oh my god. Surprise, Abel No Kane was just absolutely toyed with there. He threw the stun, it hit. The second stun felt to be a bit excessive. He could have just he had shots. He was trying to do too much, honestly. Abel No Kane threw that second flat uh, stun grenade and then rotated around the back. It made it a longer stretch. Uh, it, it just trying to do too much, Greg. Yeah, yeah, I think he uh, honestly he just throws that stun, just beams right in the face. There he is, he's dead, he's got him. I mean, hell, he had him so dead to rights he could have waited for him to do it, get the payout, which you know the extraction's worth a shit ton of cash, and then bought back his whole team. That's true. Ambitious, Greg, but true. Would be possible. That's what I would have done. Really, Greg? That's what you would have done? Well, I mean, I would have tried it. I probably would have failed. At least you're being honest with us. As you see, Rambo picked up a scav. He's going to try to bring back the team with the scav. He already gets. He already has 3,600 on him. Waypoint. Tracking contract objective. So near, already are close to having one back thus far. You see the second circle. We're about a minute and 20 seconds. Oh boy, he is confused. Not sure where to get this next scav. There he goes. He sorted it out. Uh, taking a look at the circle. South side of the map, though. Hospital downtown, Promenade East Park. Main focal points. Hospital downtown, dead center, really. Stadium, TV factory, and Superstore still in. Train station as well. So we'll see how this unfolds in about 55 seconds from now when that second circle does lock in. And we get a glimpse of the third. Also with us today, Derek, our on-field reporter. Derek, how are we doing today? Oh, Frank, great. Great to be here. Uh, real excited. As always. Gotta love Derek. Pause. Literally... The dude bleeds positivity. As we see a res come in from not only Rambo, but right in front of him. I don't know if he sees this. It's directly in front of him, and he looked at it twice in that direction, but he hasn't. I don't know if he's caught on to this or not. He's just going to make a bunch of noise, break a window, and try to get the rest of the scav here. I don't think he's aware. I don't, I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows, Frank. Look out. This could be troublesome. Hitman has now came back. He went all the way to the loadout. He went with a Mac-10. He's got an iPad and a, and a Claymore on him. I don't know if we're going to get a look at that primary. As he's got that Mac-10 built for absolute speed. You can see the 53-round fast mag on there, even though he's got to take that off. 53-round drum, Greg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fast mag's going to slow down that ADF speed drastically. 
Also, that uh, 53 round drum, just a better play, faster, uh, near as fast of a reload, but it's not gonna affect your ADS. He's got that sound suppressor, that thing, like the Colossus Odin suppressor. Look at that bad boy. The Colossal! <laughs> oh, Greg. What? Just saying. I know, just saying. No stock on that thing as well. I'm gonna put that, C that Claymore right in front of that rover to see if anybody picks that up. That'll be fun to watch. Hitman now. Pushing into a building. Fine salute as well. Unlooted over here. Nice. Check back and see if this gap. Oh, he's right on one! Perfect timing, Greg! I look just in time and see Rambo get absolutely fragged! Yeah, uh, we made that switch over there. He must have been. He didn't even finish up the scab. He was looking for the third one. Remember, that res came in, and we were worried about him over there. And. Good flip, Greg. Oh, yeah, thanks. I'm really good at this now. I really Mark got it down. Just face. clicking buttons. Thanks, buddy. Two kills for Hitman. And now. The weight of the team on his shoulders. He's got enough to buy one back. Still, here's another loot box in here. And finds another fat stack, too, and a little bit extra. Finds a fat stack and a, and a, and a side piece there. Some some mashed potatoes to go along with the chicken teddies. 6,300 in hand now. Gonna head to the back buy station. Again, this scav is gonna be dangerous, but somebody, I think, needs to hit it. You buy back one here. Have them hit it. It's not a bad idea. I mean, you think, like, uh, what? He's gonna get, tw he's got 2,300 now, 28 for the scab to complete. Give him another buyback. Enable no cane coming back with nothing right now. Oh, he's gonna go to the loadout. If not, they're not gonna do it, Frank. They're not gonna do it. No, I mean, they might try, they still have two minutes, 30 seconds to get to that scab. They might try to work it together, potentially. Let's see what Able no cane picks out of the loadout first. Doing a good job of hiding here. M4 RPG comes down. He goes, goes class. He has a stun grenade and a Semtex. Switches off the RPG for the Magnum. Unfortunate. Yeah, I want to see that RPG. So do I, Greg. So do I. Hitman now in a vehicle. A helicopter. Back, two helicopters back at his location. What do we call that? We have the monster truck rally for three birds. It's what do we call three helicopters? I don't know, Greg. What do you what do you have anything in mind? Oh, what about like a uh, triple bird, triple bird party? That doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, you know, you sometimes call hell about helicopter bird. Yeah, no, I, I'm aware of what you what it's called, Greg. I just don't think it's that catchy. Tri triple birds? Oh God, Greg. Unsure of why he keeps dropping his money to look at it on the ground, but 5,800 in hand now for Hitman. Let's go take a look at Abel, who's still back where he was. He literally went, oh, so he went back up to where he died, was able to find some cash as well. He picked back up that far that he had earlier. Two birds up in the sky here, Greg. See? Tell you. Again, Hitman just throwing his money on the ground. Still unsure why. Able gonna actually shoot shots at these helicopters. Bold. 8,200 for Hitman now. He does have enough to buy back both teammates. But no buy in the hills area on that cul-de-sac. Cul no, no buy there. Just two helicopters floating out near the back by that he was already at. He has the Krieg as his primary with that MAC-10. Looking up that way now at these two helos. Able. Still trying to... I don't I don't know why Abel's trying to fight these guys as he fires off just a couple rounds at a time and they're not on the mark. Uh, just asking for a fight he doesn't want right now. I don't, there's no need for it. He only has two plates on. Not a third plate. Not even full up. No plates in the back either to, you know, truly fight with. He's only got 30 rounds in that M4. I don't know what he put on attachment-wise, but it looks like he has a stippled grip potentially on the back end of that. Uh, instead of a clip... He went for an extra grip there, a uh, rear grip. In on you got the monolithic, back. the grenadier, the hollow sight on that, the commando grip, the 60, or, and, and not the 60 round mag instead, where you would see either a 50 or 60 round mag. It looks like the stipple, potentially maybe the rubber eyes. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely rear grip on there. Interesting build. We'll see how it works out for him. Yeah, you think you maybe go with a tank too, if you wanted to break it down that way, but in quads, a 30 round clip, going to be interesting, especially, well, he is running two ARs. We'll, we'll see how it goes. 
fourth circle starting to close. Take a look at it. It shifted hard to the west. Promenade East is going to be the central focus point here. Train station is in. But really just circling Promenade East, you're going to see a lot of awkward building fights. Oh, I definitely grew... I definitely, uh, freak. I almost called you my own name. Yeah, I, th I thought that's what that was. Oh, yeah, I heard it too. Yeah, his name's Frank Greg. Oh, God. <laughs> what was that laugh, Derek? Is that... What, what do you mean? Enemy helo. What, uh, nothing, nothing. I think that was an actual laugh. Yeah, I think it was too. <laughs> 31 people left in the game. These two, now Rambo and Flyboy, have came back. Uh, the buys did come in here. We will see them rotating in the back. Diamante for Flyboy. See that primary soon. Rambo back with this Kriegen Cold War MP5. See Abel switch to a PPSH instead of that legendary Farah. And the Grawl for Flyboy's primary weapon here, firing shots at that helo. Has not hit a single bullet. But don't worry, there's another helo. Shoots about 40 rounds there, connected with about three. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure why they're shooting at him. Neither, neither do I. It seems like a, a bit of an ammo waste here. It does seem this team, most of them did go fully loaded, and they will find some ammo inside. So, there you go. Great, perfect opportunity to let off some rounds, I guess. And more ammo dropped up in front. They are doing a good job of sharing here, uh, divvying up the... The money and the ammo that they have remaining right now. Ammo div divvied up. Dead silence now for Hitman as well. Looking towards the big hotel building. Again, like we said, we're going to see a lot of down uh, Promenade East High building fighting here. But take a look at the circle. How about that? It's going to clean up to the north side of it. It is going to knock Train out of play. The big hotel will be the central focus point at this point. And you see a ping already coming in from Flyboys. you got to get there quick. There's already multiple cars parked outside of this bad boy. So I'd imagine there's already somebody in there. They were looking up that way. I didn't see anybody right off the bat. But who's going to be the, the test dummy here? If you will, Greg. Yeah, somebody's got to test the water. Just take a zip up there or something. Or they could push all together nice and slow. Look at this Abel. Oh, no, look out. <laughs> Abel's going to get taken out out of nowhere. Big 23. He found some loot. There's a multiple satchels over there. The Big 23 out of left field just came out from behind that curtain over there. and just said, F you, Abel. And completely eliminated him. Abel's kind of out there by himself. And you see somebody just, they moved into... They moved into the luxury car building here, uh, right outside the hotel. Looks like they're not going to pressure that building, but Abel was out about a little bit away from the team, doing a little bit of side looting there. He found the goods, but he also found some enemies. I already saw that that buy station came in and somebody came back in. Interesting with the helicopters, by the way, Greg. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, you, you saw this team fire a couple of shots off at him. You'd expect now. by now multiple teams to be lighting these helicopters up. And even though they didn't put a ton of bullets into them, they still took some damage up there. And they, uh, I guess I haven't seen this strategy in quads at all. No, you're not wrong, Greg. I think this is definitely a first. Uh, I all mean, obviously, right, solos, yeah. you're not going to see it because there's some helicopters. Duos, you might see it every time, once in a while. And really, in a quads game or a trios, you're just going to see it as maybe a most wanted play. Interesting to see it now as an actual play just to get to the final circle. It seems like they really want to win. wonder if we get Derek up there. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to get up there. <laughs> it, it seriously, it looks like two people. It looks like it's just one person in each helicopter flying around. That's it. And the circle will tighten up again. Six circle shows, 40 seconds before it closes, and it's just hotel. Those couple buildings right outside, you hear multiple stun grenades, flash grenades going off inside of the big building as well. But these buildings right here, it's small little one-story shacks, really. That's about it. Heading out. See a shot out on the hillside as well. And there we go. Flyboy will have a line on him. Mount comes in. Beautiful garage shots. Rock him. Knock him. Sock him. Pop him. C's. D's. Nuts. C. D's. Nut. Goes down. See you later. Gone. 22nd place. 21 people left. 8 teams left. 2 kills now for Flyboy. That Grawl still spooks. It does, Greg. It does. Especially on that mount. Nice and easy. And look at this. They've worked into the bottom floor now. Hitman out in front. Clearing the bottom. Fight somewhere on the stairwell up top. 
massive battle as these guys just poured into the bottom floor and they're just just relaxing down here. That's so all they have to do right now is just defend the perimeter. You gotta expect a lot of people there. There's really nowhere else to go. You gotta expect. Yeah, we see a Bertha coming into play. That might be a move as well. Just drive around in a Bertha, especially if you're a solo left in this game. We have seven teams of quads. And should be 28 people left. We're at 17, so a lot of teams suffering a little bit. Somebody just parachutes right off the side as a precision air strike strikes down. He's right on top of Hitman, and Hitman turns. It's Michael Scott. Look out! Michael Scott retired from. Dunder Mifflin Paper Company looks like he stepped into the battlefield, but gets taken out in 16th place there. You had to jump off the roof with that precision airstrike and look at the outside, Greg. This is a shit show. Two Berthas, two helicopters, absolute madness. Hit, hit man, yeah, he's not going to allow it. He's firing back shots at that Bertha. Uh-oh, is he going to get in the other Bertha, Greg? Is he going to make it? Monster Truck Rally, do again the Bertha hit, man. Look at this, he's listening to you, Greg. It's a Monster Truck Rally out here now. There's three Berthas, two helicopters. It's double, it's Dublay Birds, Greg. How about that one? No, that's stupid as That's stupider than mine. Whatever. <laughs> Five teams left with 13 people. They're dropping like flies out there. Nobody has anywhere to go, really. Just circling this building. But guess what? Seven Circle says, fuck that building. And the hotel building will be out. It's going to shift way out in the open. Out in the grassy goal here. But the whole team is going to go down. Look out, fly boys down. And so is Rambo. It just comes down to Hitman who hopped in the Bertha. Smart play by him. Who would have known that? But the push came in. Remember, I said they had to protect the boundaries there. Make sure nobody pushed in, but oh my god, the shots are coming in fast and furious to the Hitman right now, the Bertha. Completely cracked. Yeah, that was, I don't know, you don't even see that normally. Unbelievable. Now they can't even hit him now. Look out! Look out, Bertha! Oh god, he runs over Big 23! He took out Abel earlier, he said fuck you, and he drops Briss as well! He's running over everybody, but no! The Cluster Strike and D's fired one shot through. I think the Cluster did him in, but we're going to see D's actually pick up the kill with the shot that came through the window. There's three teams with five people left in the eighth circle. It's not favorable to anybody. It's shifting up towards hospital now. Far away as shots come in. You can see a, a Rambo up on the hillside rotating. It's Toxic Tank 989. He fires the shots off on the hillside. He's the last man standing on his team. He has one kill. Mac 10 comes out. Still firing shots at the gentleman up in front of him right now. Rambo is trying to stay alive up there, and the, and the M13 gets reloaded. There was a time there for Toxic Tank to make Maybe plate and reload that gun instead of shooting the Mac-10 from distance because he's got to rotate in with no gas mask and now he's feeling the pain from Rambo. But Rambo is way inside of gas there. But the circle is gonna shift right back towards Toxic Tank. And Toxic Tank picks up the, the kill on Jim Box. Jim Box was that Rambo up on the hillside there, that Ram that Rambo skin, and he goes down to gas. Toxic Tank. I don't. He's not necessarily gonna get the kill there. He will get awarded, but I think he might already had two. Not sure. Can't confirm. We'll see. But. 2v1 situation. More important things, Toxic Tank only has two plates on. Mac 10 M13 for him. He has control circle. Basically. But where are the other two? Where could they be? Wait, in behind him! <laughs> Stuck in the back! They have a gas mask back there! What in the world? It's a riot shield just shooting a Toxic Tank! He's gonna be outside a circle! And he's gonna fall! That was the last man standing! Actually, somebody must have died on the way over there! I don't know how! Joy Cream actually pulled that off, but he doesn't! He was in the back! I don't know if he had just a full gas mask, maybe some stims! We'll see if we can get a post-game interview from him. But what in the world? We saw the quads really self-destruct. It came down to a bunch of solos out there. And then the team of Riot Shielders. Three Riot Shielders in park right there. That sounds like a comedy TV show on ABC. It does, Greg. They should make their own TV show after this dub they picked up in Warzone. Icy Cream Cake is the one to pull it off, but obtain his teammate. Doveen and misunderstood pick up the dub in a chaotic finish out in the middle of the open on the grassy knoll. Takes another shot, just misses. Look at this, Frank. Oh, my. It's insane. Oh, oh no. That will wrap up another one. Got the quads in that game there. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I tried for a post-game interview. Nobody was. They were there for half a second. And as soon as I asked, you could hear them exit the lobby. And then there was some shit talking that occurred afterwards. So we can't put that even in the clip. But I tried. I'm imagining he either had stims or uh, just a full gas mask and waited that out. I, I, I mean, gas mask wise, he would have been. He had to have stims. There's no way. But with a Ryan Shield, I don't know. I w we'll, have, we'll have unanswered questions for the rest of our life based off of that. I even, I even would have waited around, but second place just started talking a boatload of shit. 
and we had to leave that. Not the player in the game, but another player that we saw uh, fall a little bit earlier than that. Um, it was actually, I think, somebody that got ran over with a Bertha, so I could see the salt coming off of that. But we shall see. Until next time, much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And bye!